Hi, I'm Kelly Baker Jamison, founder of Edible Blooms, and I'm here at Flinders University for Entrepreneurs in Conversation. I think it's so important just to take your idea and make it happen, and I hope you enjoy my story tonight. So if we go back to 2005, when you were working in a corporate career, driving your little convertible around, what happened? What gave you the idea to switch out of that and trade it in for a purple delivery van? Was there a particular strategy you had when you started your business with that in mind? Oh, I had the best strategy when I started. I wrote a business plan. Has everyone written a business <laughs> plan when they started their business? And, um, and it was to build this amazing gift business and sell it in five years. So 10 years on, I'm still here slogging away. I haven't actually finished yet. I feel like I've still got a lot to go, but I love my business more today than I did back then at the same time. So it's actually become my first child. <laughs> And it's very hard to sell your first child. <laughs> you went into an online business, which is a very tough space, and also into retail for the very first mm. time. So yes. really, two unknowns for you. Looking back, did you really know what you were up for? I was so afraid, actually, when I first started Edible Blooms, because I was really excited by the idea. My biggest fear was that somebody with more money, because I started with a $20,000 cash, that was all my savings that I put in to start the business. Um, so my biggest fear when I started was somebody coming along with deeper pockets and copying me and getting the runs on the board. And then, and I had to put personal guarantees on all of the leases. So I opened three stores in my first year and I had personal guarantees that if this didn't work, I was going back to work to keep paying leases. So I, it, was a, it was quite a big risk personally. And so I had to make it work. So I just naively just went for it. I didn't think I couldn't do it. I didn't think it was too hard. I just did it. And looking back, I don't know if I'd be quite as courageous now, but um, I'm glad I did do it. We're about to embark on our biggest, and this is um, you'll be the first to hear about this tonight because this is a very new thing that we're working on. So um, our new out-of-the-box marketing idea is we are building a 10 by 7 metre chocolate garden that we're going to tour around Westfields around the country this year and it's a marketing stunt we've got uh, Sophie Thompson the ABC gardening designer she's designing the garden for us and it'll be a walkthrough experience people will be able to walk through and be involved in a whole 360 degree chocolate garden. So I see you doing a lot of marketing that's you know, face to face and, and real life marketing, even though your business is generated on, online. So mm. do you find that that is a very unique thing that you do, where you're actually very aware of marketing and, and building customer awareness? Yeah, um, I guess things like um, events, we, we, get, we get involved in events where we give away products and things like that. Um, learning to say it's okay not to be perfect has been something that um, I think I've learned along the way too. For anyone with a good idea, you're always going to have someone that will copy you. It takes a lot longer than you think it will. I thought I'd have copycats earlier than I did, but now I've got lots. Um, so at first I was really afraid of competition. I always thought, oh God, they're going to take, you know, I'll, I won't have a business. It'll be, I'll, it'll be over before it started. And at the, actually the other point of that, and this is something that um, I'd really like Edible Blooms to be a top of mind brand name when people are gifting for occasions. So rather than cut flowers, and I really want our gift range to be even more dynamic than it is now. So I don't think, it won't look anything like it does now in 10 years. It'll be totally different again. Mm -hmm.